I, it's Matt here. You've probably just got yourself your suspension trainer to keep things off whilst we're in lockdown. But you might be wondering, what do I do with it? How do I set it up? So I've got one here for us. You've probably got the box. Couple little things that you might want to know to start with is we've got two options. If we're training indoors, you might want this guy. We're going to be the door anchor. I can sh we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, there's another little piece in here. You can probably keep this as is. You probably won't need it unless you've got a cross beam like a patio or something outside that you want to use it with. Otherwise, leave it as is. Keep it in the bag so you don't lose it. And then we'll grab out the suspension trainer. So some of you use it in the studio with me, so you might be familiar already. Uh, carabiner, little loop through the door anchor. Clip that in like so. Loop. You don't have to lock it off, but it's always a good idea anyway. A little quarter of a turn back. Those who've done rock climbing will be familiar with these ones. And then we're gonna make our way over to a door. Now, ideally, you want a door that closes towards you as you're training, such as the bedroom door I'm about to use. So head on down, uh, place it over the back of the door, like so. Close the door. If you've got anyone at home, Probably a good idea to let them know what you're doing so someone doesn't open the door on you. And that is it. That's as simple as it is to set up with. Uh, in terms of your setup, I'll go through how we adjust the suspension trainer. It's quite simple. If you press the buckle, it's like a little button. Press that down with your thumb. Grab from the orange tab. And you can pull it all the way up if you want, if need be. And do the same to the other side. Grab from the button, pull all the way up. All right, that's, for my door, that's probably adequate. And I would probably use that for our whole workout. Uh, if I do want to do anything on the ground, uh, the loops are enough distance off the ground that your feet won't touch the ground. And for anything else, as you can see, I'm in a little landing here. It's a very small area, and this is more than enough space to get through most of what we can do together. I hope you found this video interesting. If not, at least you know how to set up your suspension trainer ready for our sessions this week.